Hello and welcome back to my channel. So as someone that suffered from a thyroid condition for seven years now, I wanted to talk about something that is a very common thing that happens with a lot of people with thyroid conditions and that's hair loss. So when you have a thyroid condition, you may suffer from hair loss and that is due to either the body producing too much or not enough hormones. So how does hair actually grow? Hair starts growing at the bottom of the root of the hair follicle. Your scalp's blood vessels feed the follicle which creates new cells and in turn makes hair growth. So the hair then pushes up through the scalp and it passes through the oil gland which is what keeps your hair shiny and smooth and then it starts to grow. So your hair grows for a while but then as the cycle goes it falls out and then the new growth starts again. So every day we lose between 50 and 100 hairs and if you are suffering from hormonal imbalances and your body isn't growing new hair that is how your hair starts to thin and creates hair loss. Hair loss develops slowly if it goes untreated but there is good news it can be fixed. So it is a long process but there are things that you can do to help your hair to grow back. My hair actually started to fall out before I was even diagnosed. So when I look back on photos, you can see my hair's really, really short, it's thin, it was brittle, and I just didn't know why it would never grow. Then fast forward to when I was in a thyroid storm, that was probably the peak of when my hair was unhealthy. So it was so brittle, um, it kind of felt like jelly, I couldn't touch it when it was wet and it was just really, really unhealthy. But now, seven years later, you can see my hair is actually quite long and it's really healthy. So now I'm going to show you some things that you can do to help with your hair growth. So the first thing is treating the cause. So working with a doctor and an endocrinologist to find out where your imbalances are, diagnosing what your thyroid disease is and then being placed on the correct medication that's going to stabilize your hormones and then in the long term that's going to help your hair growth and also all the symptoms I'm sure you would be suffering from having a thyroid disease. When you have a thyroid disease you could be suffering from other nutritional deficiencies so in my instance I'm deficient in calcium because I had a total thyroidectomy. But one thing that you need to make sure you're doing is working with your doctor and endocrinologist. I was told that it's not safe to just go out and purchase supplements, especially, you know, we get sold hair supplements a lot. If you are taking too much or taking the wrong types of supplement, you can again disrupt your hormone balances. And if you are suffering from a thyroid disease, you would know this is a very delicate balance and even changing your diet can disrupt this. So it's best to always seek professional help when you are trying to get to the root of what's causing your problems. So some vitamins that help with your hair health are vitamins B and biotin. Also zinc, copper and iron can help with your hair health. Now biotin is an ingredient that you will see in a lot of hair supplements. And again, I'm not advising to go out and get these, seek medical advice beforehand, but there's something that you should know about biotin, as particularly if you have a thyroid condition. So small amounts of biotin can be found in foods like egg yolks, liver, nuts, and also salmon and avocados. Now, when you take these supplements that contain biotin, they usually have a higher amount than the recommended dosage. And again, if you have a sensitive hormonal balance and then you're having too much of a certain type of nutrient, you can really disrupt the levels of everything. So just be really careful and always seek medical advice before starting to take any supplements or vitamins in your diet. The way that I like to make sure I'm getting enough nutrients and vitamins in my diet is by eating well. So I try to eat a lot of foods with healthy fats in them. So I do eat salmon and I do eat avocado and this definitely helps with your overall hair health. Also foods that are high in calcium will help with your with your hair health as well, but if you are like me and you eat a diet that is high in calcium, you have to make sure that you are eating it at least four hours after you've taken your medication, otherwise it will disrupt your body from absorbing your medication fully. And this was a mistake that I was making for quite a while. And when I fixed this, um, after speaking to my endocrinologist, I saw a huge, huge improvement in my hair health and my overall health in general. When you have a thyroid disease, your body is already quite inflamed. So you really wanna steer away from foods that can further inflame your body. These are things like sugars, caffeine, and alcohol. 
Instead, try and add some anti-inflammatory foods into your diet. So two of my favorite are turmeric and ginger. Now I have a ginger tea almost every single day. I find that it really helps with my migraines when I feel them coming on. It also settles my tummy if I'm feeling nauseous from the, the migraine symptoms that I get. I love essential oils and not only do they help with my everyday life and just you know stress levels they also help with your hair health so one thing that I like to do is add a couple of drops of either lavender peppermint or eucalyptus into my into a hair mask if I'm doing one of them or into my shampoo and I wash my hair so the essential oils help to stimulate the hair follicle and improve hair growth now some people don't believe in essential oils and some doctors say that there aren't any proof Proven studies to show that they have any health benefits but in my experience they help me I love them and I love how they smell so I like to use them every day people with thyroid conditions should also watch their iodine intake the body uses iodine to make thyroid hormone so too much can lead to imbalances Foods like seafood and seaweed are very high in iodine and if you have too much of these foods it can worsen your symptoms and result in more hair loss. So that's some tips on how you can improve your hair health internally but now let's talk about the actual hair and how to manage your hair. So one thing that I like to do is try and wash my hair only once or maximum two times a week. I like to let the oils kind of get through my hair and help them help it to restore itself and it becomes more shiny. Another thing is when I do wash my hair, I don't touch it when it's wet because your hair is at its most brittle when it's wet. So if you go and, you know, rub a towel in it really roughly and then, you know, brush it like crazy, you're going to do damage and you're going to break your hair. So I like to just let my hair dry naturally and then in the height of when my hair was at its most brittle, I would only ever brush my hair with a baby brush. This prevented more breakage and more hair loss. I highly recommend this tip if you are suffering from really brittle dry hair. It helped me so much and when I made the switch, I noticed a huge difference in my hair. Another thing that I like to do is only use professional hair products because many of the drugstore and supermarket hair products that you can buy, they contain harmful fillers in them. So they have parabens, sulfates, many harmful chemicals. So when you have a thyroid disease, it's important to limit the toxins that you encounter in your everyday life anyway. I really recommend that you use nourishing professional hair care products. That has helped my hair so much and using treatments really helps. So two treatments I like to use are coconut oil that's so natural and I leave it in all day and then I wash it out at night doing two shampoos because it is quite thick. And then another one that has helped my hair immensely is Olaplex number no. three. It's a bond repairing treatment and it has really restored my hair to much, much better health. So they're just some things that I have personally been doing to restore my hair health. Now, I think the most important thing is that you do seek medical advice and you do get help from your endocrinologist and doctor to treat the cause of the problem. And then you can also use some of the other tips that I shared with you just to support that healing journey. I understand how tough thyroid conditions can be. Your body is constantly changing and you're having to deal with all of these symptoms and then new symptoms pop up every day and it's just it's a long long journey and I just want you to know that you're not alone and that I'm here for you and I wish you all the best and all of the happiness strength and healing in the world so thank you so much for tuning in today if you know someone that might benefit from this video please share it along I would be so grateful for that also please like and subscribe to my channel I'll be sharing more videos like this in the future and I would love for you to join our community here so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time have a wonderful day bye